Now, look at the sum. What should be added to 2.1 to get 10? What should be added to 2.1 to get 10? That means, what is the number is going to add with 2.1? Then you will get the answer that is 10. So, what are you going to do first? You have to subtract from 10 to 2.1. You will get this answer. I will do the sum. So, the question is, what should be added to 2.1? So, you have to subtract from 10. This is 1's place. This is 10's place. This is 10's place. This is 100's place. See, there is no number for 10's place and 100's place. That is what we have written, zeros. So, we have to write double zeros. Then after that, what is the number? 2.1. After that, we have to write 2.1. So, 2 comes under in 1's place and 1 comes under in 10's place. There is no number in 100's place. That is what we have to put 0. So, these two numbers we have to subtract. 10. So, first 10 is a whole number. So, 1's place 0 and 10's place what? 1. Here, 2 is 1 place. And here there is no 10. So there is no number in tens and hundreds. That is what we have to written. What? That is what we have written. Zeros in tens place as well as in hundreds place. So that is what double zeros. So 2.1. 2, 2 comes under in ones place. 2 is a whole number. And point 0.1. 1, 1 is a decimal. Start 1. Start with 1 is a decimal part. So ones comes in tens place. There is no number in hundreds place. That is what we have written zero in hundreds place. So now let's start to subtract. Zero minus zero, you can get zero. So there is no number in tens place. That is zero. So we have to subtract from the whole part. That is ones place. So ones place also zero. So you have to subtract from tens place. It is also comes under in whole part. So it you one start with here one is goes you start with tens place tens place what is the number one so you have to subtract you have to borrow one tens so here it becomes tens now after that you start you sub you start borrowing from here so this become as ten and this become as nine so this one become as zero so you have to put zero here so I just cancel so just put a zero just cancel it that is what I cancel one. So, 10 minus 1, you can get 9. Then, so 9 minus 2, you can get 7. So there is no number in 10's place. Then 1 cancel because we are subtract, we sorry, we are borrowing from 1. one. We are borrowing from 10's place value. The number is 1. So, we are borrowing from 1 tens. Okay. So, look at this number again. I will tell you. See, what should be added to 2.1 to get 10? That means, you have to add a particular number with 2.1 then you will get the result 10 that means you have to subtract from 10 to 2.1 that is what and that is what i've done it that is what i subtract so first you start writing 10 after that you have to subtract from 10 you have to subtract from 10 you have to subtract 2.1 so 10 that is 0 in 10 means 10 is a whole number so first we have to write all the numbers in the according to the all the numbers and according to the place value all the number according to the place value not in so 10 so 0 in what 10.00 .00 i've written i'll explain so 0 in 10 means 0 in ones place and 1 in tens place then put a point then tens and hundredth place there is no number so i have written for that particular digit zero uh, double zeros that is one zero for tens place and another zero for hundredths place now after that, I have to subtract from 10, that is the number is 2.1. So 2 in the 1's place, this is the whole part, then put a point, after the point we can call it as a decimal part. So 1 in the 10's place and there is no number in 100's place, so that is what I have written, 0 in 100's place. So 0 minus 0, you can get 0, so 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1 you can't subtract. So, I will go to the 1's place that is a whole part. So, here also 0. So, I can't subtract. So, I will go to the 10's place value. So, 10's place what is the number? 1. So, I am just what borrowing from 1. So, this 1 becomes what? 0. So, here this 1's place, this 0 becomes as 10. So, I am again borrowing from this 10. So, this becomes 9. After in 10's place, this 0 becomes as 10's. 
tens okay so what is the number 10 minus 1 you can get 9 so 9 minus 2 in in the in the whole part one's place what is the number here on the top 9 so 9 minus 2 you can get 7 already 1 is cancelled because you are borrowing borrowing from 1 only there is no number afterwards this one become a 0 so I just cancel it so the answer is 7.90 7.90 see I've told you already after the point if you put 0 you put how many zeros if you add how many zeros there is no value so you just write 7.9 that is sufficient so just 0 it becomes just 0 you cancel it you can, if you want write, you can write 0, but there is no value for 0, just cancel it. So the answer is 7.9. You just check the answer, whether the answer is right or wrong. So what you are going to do, I have told you already 7 point, what, 7.9 7.9 is the answer. So what is the question, what should be added to 2.1? So 2.1, you must add a particular number with 2.1, then you will get the answer is 10. So this is the number we find out the so 7.9 add with 2.1 you just add both numbers this is one's place this is what tenths place so this is a whole part this is the decimal part so 9 plus 1 you can get what 10 then carry over 1 so the a 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 2 10 the answer is 10 so now you got the answer 10 so the sum is that whatever the sum you have done it the answer is 7.9 is a right answer so this number should added with what 2.1 the answer is 7.9 exactly correct